Hi, Taylor here with Lawson Screen and Digital Products. And today I'm going to talk about Red Coat Blackout. This is a great way to touch up pinholes, eliminate emulsion blemishes, and minimize screen taping. Inspect your screen over some lights to help see any issues. Here we've got a couple of pinholes, and then we have a blemish right there. And this could occur from getting too close with your pressure washer or any problems that happen during the emulsion coating stage. To fix these pinholes, just put a little bit of red black down. You don't need a whole lot. It goes pretty far. Put some down and then just go ahead and scrape it across. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way. You wanna make sure to cover up all the pinholes, any pinholes you might see. It's important to not cover up your registration marks because you're going to need those when you're on press to actually register your screen and you can tape those later. For this blemish here, just gonna pour a little bit more out. And again, just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and Any extra red coat I have on the screen, I can use to coat the edges between the screen frame and the emulsion. Using red coat blackout is a great way to minimize the amount of taping you have to do for your screen. This red coat blackout is much cheaper than tape, so it's a more cost-effective way to stop Plastisol ink from getting through your frame. When you're done applying your red coat, make sure to take a rag and just get any extra red coat that's on the actual frame itself off. So we've blocked all the pinholes and the blemishes. We're now ready to have the red coat dry before we go put this frame on press to help speed up the process. I'm going to use the Lawson Procure screen drying box. Just go ahead and slide it in and turn it on. And once it's dry, we'll go start printing. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe for more great tech tips.